Welcome to the Daily Nostalgia Show. Welcome to A Lot to Unbox. Welcome to A Lot to Unbox for October. Got a fantastic episode for you of things that I picked up for A Lot to Unbox for this month in October. Hard to believe it's October. The spooky season is upon us. So what I picked up for the Nintendo Switch is Karate Kid Street Rumble. Uh, it's a uh, fighting game. Uh, beat em up, I should say. So it looks pretty interesting. Can't wait to check this out. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 did not get a cover, so that's too bad. Just got the GameStop, or whatever it is, generic thing. So hopefully I'll find a cover for it. But that's pretty cool. So I have all three of those. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. So definitely looking forward to playing this. I've played a little bit of it already. Into the little past the first dungeon. So still very new at it. Been very busy. But it looks pretty cool. And for the Halloween special, we're going to be checking out one of the games. Doki Doki Literature Club. My buddy said it's got some horror elements in the story. Uh, so we'll check this out, see what this is all about. Some people say it's fantastic. Not sure myself. It's my type of game, but I'll definitely check it out. And for figures, the Masters of the Universe Revolution Hordak. So we'll take a closer look at this. So as you can see, that Hordak was pretty cool. Now, also I picked up for figures, Masters of the Universe, New Eternia Skeletor. This is a different version of Skeletor with the battle armor, skeleton on armor, and it looks pretty cool. Very Halloween-y looking. So let's take a closer look at that. As you can see, that Skeletor was pretty awesome, so I'm definitely liking the uh, battle armor on it. And the Princess of Power Leech, one of Hordak's crew. So this is a pretty cool looking version of Leech. So let's take a closer look at that. Definitely Leech is pretty awesome. I'm definitely glad to have that one. That one looks pretty cool. So pretty cool. And last but not least, Andre the Giant, the Ultimate Collector's Edition. So that is pretty cool. I definitely need an Andre in my collection. It's got how many heads? Three heads? Four heads total. The championship belt, two hands, and a different shirt there. So we'll have to take, definitely take a closer look at that and check it out. So as you can see, Andre was pretty awesome. Pretty big figure. Came with a lot of stuff actually, so that's pretty awesome. So anyways, that is it for a lot to unbox, so I hope you liked it. We'll be right back after these unsponsored messages. Prepare for the most radical changes of your life. Just when you thought the daisies were taking root on Dracula's grave, he and his evil army arise and Konami Dracula's curse for Nintendo. But behold! This time the magical gift of transformation lets you turn yourself into three different spirits. You'll need to fend off the Count's legion of grotesque ghouls. And with 17 possible regions of unending doom, it's never quite the same adventure twice. So, noble warrior, choose the paths of fate wisely and you may bury Dracula for good and live to become a mortal legend. But don't count on it. Brought to you by Konami for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Become the ultimate warrior in the ultimate war. Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2 is on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Brought to you by Acclaim Entertainment. Now you're playing with power. Now back to the show. Test your knowledge with this retro video game trivia. The company that created Fortnite, Epic, also created a game engine that is licenses to other game creators named what? The answer is the Unreal Engine.
What object does Mario typically leap onto after completing a level in the earliest iterations in his franchise? The answer is a flagpole. Name the game. Do you know what game this is? If you do, you might be retro. Renegade is a beat em up for the NES and the first entry in the Kunio Kuen series, which includes Super Dodge Ball and River City Ransom. What is the name of this 1980s TV show? Do you remember this one? Perfect Strangers is an American sitcom that ran for eight seasons, from March 25, 1986, to August 6, 1993, on the ABC television network. Did you remember that? I want to know. Do you remember that? Now on with the show. Look at me. We'll be back after these unsponsored messages. Just look at me. From the far off lands of YouTube, there is this exciting program called the Daily Nostalgia Show. Do you want to have a good time and laugh? Would you like to see someone show off some of the greatest cool pickups he has picked up to show off to you? Would you like to take a nostalgic trip back in time and remember the good old days of games of the past or see the latest games of today? This is just a small sample of what is in store if you watch the Daily Nostalgia Show on YouTube. It airs every third Saturday each month at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. Hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss out. Join the thousands of retro poppers out there by becoming a member today. The Daily Nostalgia Show. Lots of games, lots of fun. Games to play this Halloween on the Nintendo Switch. The number one game for this Halloween is the Rocky Horror Show. Here is the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the video game just released on Nintendo Switch about maybe less than a week ago. And it, you play as Brad, and it's a platforming game. Fantastic. Not Don't expect a great game. It only costs 10 bucks, but still pretty decent. And the uh, chiptunes is fantastic. All the classics like Let's Do the Time Warp, all the fantastic songs from the Rocky Horror Picture Show are there. So still overall pretty decent game. If I'm rating it so far, I would give it a 7 out of 10. So not bad, especially if you're a Rocky Horror Picture Show fan. Uh, I would check this out. Great for Halloween, fantastic game. So definitely worth checking out. The number two Halloween game is Sweet Witches. There is Sweet Witches on the, or on the uh, Nintendo Switch also. I'm not sure if it's on other systems. You get to play as one of two witches in the beginning. You get to pray, play as Praline or Van Vanilla. And I play as Vanilla because I like her little chicken on her head. So that's pretty fantastic. She goes around planting flowers. I didn't play as the other one, but I'm guessing she drops candy. And so basically anywhere you see green, you have to plant a flower. And you have to plant all the flowers before going to the next stage without getting hit. You can't jump. The only thing you can do is make a makeshift ladder to go up and down. It's kind of got the uh, Pac-Man elements. And you can't get hit like I just did. But as you can see, pretty fantastic gameplay. Good graphics, a lot of fun. As you see, I planted all the flowers, so I get to go on to the next. And I guess the other witches that were in the beginning in the cutscene were trampling on all her flowers, so she has to go around planting them. You can stun enemies with a chicken peck from your hat. Uh, let me see if I can get one here. Let me get away first. But as you can see, graphics are very cool, very charming, and it's a lot of fun game. Good, good, good sound effects, good game. So definitely, if you want to check it out, it's good arcade feel. That's the Sweet Witches on the Nintendo Switch. All these are Nintendo Switch games, but they're probably on other systems, so I would check. So anyways, that is Sweet Witches.
The number three Halloween game is Night Slashers Remake. Night Slashers Remake. I always liked Night Slashers, a good beat em up back in the day in the arcades. So Data East partnered up with another developer and they made a remake of it. And what can I say, the game's still fun. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about these graphics, but the uh, gameplay is still there and it's still a lot of fun. And it's interesting so far to see the differences, at least in the graphics department. And I'm, so far, so far I'm enjoying it. So I would give this another seven out of 10. So if you like beat em ups and you like night slashers, it's still worth checking out. It's got some uh, cool end bosses and pretty interesting game. As you can see, I'm fighting Frankenstein there. So definitely a great game for Halloween. And, it's, oh, it's Forever Entertainment, I believe, is the developer that partnered with Data East to, to develop this. And still, a worthy, worthy game to be able to be played through. So, if you like the Night Slashers or Beat'em Ups, it's definitely a fun game in general. Just not crazy about the graphics. But, as you can see, great game. It's got great cutscenes. A lot of fun, so... There's Dracula there. The music's great. Like I said, the only thing that I hold it back for is the uh, graphics so far. I'm not, not a fan of the style. To me, it seems like uh, old PC graphics or something. Almost like a mod, but still not bad. The fourth and final Halloween game is Camp Sunshine. Here is Camp Sunshine. So Camp Sunshine is a survival horror game, whereas you play as this kid who goes to a summer camp and he's getting spooked out and chased by a bear with a big machete knife. So pretty interesting game. Uh, a lot of fun overall, good graphics for what it is, and I think it was on sale too, I got it pretty cheap, so it's not bad for Halloween. I, all these games are quick pick up and plays, I picked it up for maybe like less than 10 bucks, and pretty decent for Halloween. As you can see it's got this uh, bear chasing you around, the Camp Sunshine bear. And he is killing people right and left, and kind of like he can teleport and do all kinds of crazy things. So, pretty interesting. I do like the 16-bit uh, graphics here. Looks nice. And there are some things you can discover, little hidden passages, things like that. Places to hide for your little guy, your little kid there, to stay safe from the uh, sunshine bear. So as you can see, he is there, you have a flashlight, and it's a pretty interesting game. So anyways, that is it for the Halloween picks for 2024. Anyways, that is it for the Daily Nostalgia Show. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, have a good one. Oh, and by the way, this is future me because my laptop crashed. So I lost some files on the laptop and it looks like I'm going to have to lose them for good so I had to re-record a few things to put this video together. But anyways, I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful Halloween and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, buddy. Happy Halloween.